Welcome back everybody to my let's play walkthrough of Werewolf the Apocalypse. Hope you watched the first video because it was amazing. And now we're on to the second part. We're back here with our Karen and we need to rescue our daughter. So let's get to it. Get back up. I hope Rod Ghost changed his mind. What you got to say, my man? I went to see Fen. He's gotten so weak. Please, Rotko, let me help you. Let me deal with this training center. Why is it that you care now, Kahal? We were so easy to ignore when we went right in front of you. What? You want to be part of the pack again? I want to help the pack. I want to protect Adana. But you don't intend to rejoin us. I've already given into rage and killed one of our kin, Rotko. I can't take the risk of doing it again. You already know I disagree. Nonetheless, we are united by those we mourn, so I'll accept your help. Well, this is just more info. So what can you tell on me with about the, the so-called training center? Ava managed to get a hold of the mine blueprints to help us prepare for our previous attack. The site's weak point is its power supply. They apparently haven't had the time to give it a proper upgrade. The whole thing is powered by one big propane tank, just like it was when it was a mine. I see. So if I blow up the tank, the whole mine will cave in, taking the training center with it. I am indeed. Your friend gave me the explosives that you stole as soon as he arrived. Dusk is here? Yeah. He arrived just after the attack. Don't worry. I asked the humans to look after him. We've still got a problem, though. You don't know the layout of the site, and I'm too injured to go with you. Huh. I don't like touching the stuff, but I suppose I'll use Ava's radio equipment to guide you. That should do the trick. Perfect. So we'll stay in radio contact. Take the explosives and go. Good luck, Kahal. Sweet. All we have to Desk, do is friend. blow up a giant propane tank. My son. They killed my son. Damn. He's lost a lot of blood. I don't know if he'll make it even. Does anyone Guess not. Let's keep moving. Go, Fiona Warrior, and survive. Oh wow, these are all the people. They got murdered. Do not hesitate. Probably the people. Take a look around real quick. They're currently recruiting at their training center. Then, perhaps I need to enlist. So we just gonna stroll up and say, hey, wanna join your training center? Kill werewolves? I guess that's what we're doing. Cost of fine is always less than the cost of compliance. I mean, pump action rifles. You here to enlist? The army doesn't have that shit yet. Yeah, here you've been having some trouble lately. You hear correctly. We were attacked a few days ago. We pushed them back, but let's just say we're a little understaffed right now. What's in this training program of yours anyway? That's classified. 
But those who survive their training become real killing machines. With real thick wallets, too. What do you say? You interested? Absolutely. That's the spirit. Did you register on our website? Nah, I prefer to do things in person. Can't say I blame you. What's your name? Kahal Fillin. Kahal Fillin. Hell of a name. There you go. You're on the list. All right, then. Go report to the instructor for testing. He's in the warehouse. Oh, and one last thing. Looking at you, it's pretty obvious you've done some time. Try not to mention that. The instructor hates ex-cons. Damn, okay. This way. Control, I've got a candidate for you. Welcome. If you're looking to sign up, you have to talk to the instructor. Head over to that building in the courtyard. Caught one of Endron's new ads on TV last night. They just let anybody just stroll in. Green interaction serving the bio. I love a security they got here. There's nothing they won't greenwash off. Tell me about it. Couldn't be further away from their actual file. I'm here to be recruited. You? <laughs> How'd you make it through the physical without breaking a hip? <laughs> All right, Gramps. Let me just find you on the list here. I signed up at the entrance. Kahal Fillin. Ah, right. Here you are. Now let's get down to business. You ready for the interview? I'm ready. Let's start with a technical question, then. Our assault troops are equipped with a new type of pump-action rifle. What kind of sight is it equipped with? Oh, shit. Pump action, right? It's laser, laser sight. sight. Wrong. They have a holographic sight. But I understand why you'd get that wrong, Grandpa. Back in your day, they probably still had bayonets. Let's talk engine now. The company has an internal motto for those in the know. Can you tell me what it is? Interactions that serve the biosphere. Eternal motto. The cost of the fine is always less than the cost of compliance. That's the one. Sounds nice. like you're gonna fit right in. Some guys roll on in complaining about the company not having a moral code. <laughs> Screw them. Okay, enough of this paper pushing bullshit. I know a combat vet when I see one. Welcome to Andrin's training program. Head over to the waiting room. Someone will come get you new recruits in a few minutes. Understood. Wow, two questions? It was just that easy? Okay. So you managed to get through their test just like that? Well done. But they want to make you wait. We don't have time for that. You should see a command post overlooking the waiting room. You'll have a computer inside and a service door leading into the mine. That computer will allow you to open the service door and cut communications with the lower floor. And the people here won't know what's going on in the training center. Yes, I can. Wait I'll here. Our training center is in the middle of an old mine. One of our officers. Was pretty easy just think I'm some regular combat vet check out my spirit
to sleep. That was loud as Left. Hopefully we can... St guy that Tunnels to see. Now it's time to kick ass. Sniper real quick.
trying to be smooth with it. He caught me. I had to destroy him. There it is. Giant propane tank. I'm in the mine. The propane tank's at the center of the site. There should be a service door that leads there. Out of these doors. Split. Hello? What? Ow. Stuff. anything. Spread out. Search the area. Right. Hiding speed. They can't see me. Looks like this is... See how long it takes for their... So far, so good. No problem. All stealth. Ooh, things got a little hairy there. I thought I was going to get caught. Oh shit. Oh shit, it locked. Ah, damn it. Alright. Oh. I'm dead. Switch back to agility. Nope. 
sniper. Ah. Trying to go ahead and disable that door, but oh hell broke loose. I see the tank. You're gonna to have to cut through the medical sector to get there. They're injecting something into their recruits. For most of them, less for the ones who react well to the serum. Excellent. I'll communicate that to Major Grainer when she returns. That way. pattern here. Those three guys don't. Injections have something to do with the worm. We think so, but we can't prove it yet. That's one of the things Ava and Adana are investigating. The question is, where do we get the other faction of werewolves trying to kill us? Is that them? Is that how they're making the other faction of werewolves? Silver here. Lots of it. The smell's overwhelming. It must be in their armory. The propane tanks downstairs from you. Compromise. 
Let's dodge those heavy attacks. Oh, missed the uppercut. that man fatality style I hate exos nice I made it to the propane tank There's a soldier guarding it. He's more monster than man, though. Just muscles stacked on muscles. One of their elite soldiers. One way or another, you're gonna have to deal with him. Shoot him in the head right here. Security's detected an intruder. He's not going anywhere now that we've got the site on you. Stay on your guard. What a bullet. Oh, okay, I guess this is the way to... Should make... A little bit easier. So let's go ahead and... I gotta go this way. Oh. 
guys. That's it. Now to set the explosives. It wasn't too bad. But I keep wanting to do aim and stealth, but it never ends up to work that there way. We go. The explosives are in place. suspicion that I'm out of this one. And you didn't. Back over here. We need to get out of here. Nope, missed. Take care of the sniper. Straight taken care of. You should see air vents running along the top of the walls in some rooms. When the ventilation system isn't running, those ducts will lead you straight outside. Search the warehouse. 
find the intruder, don't <laughs> I was gonna try to be stealthy, but I didn't even see the point in that situation. I'll make good use of that. What's the latest on the program? The flamethrower exos have just cleared testing. Just flamethrower. Good. Keep it up. guy gonna move or what? Not just the exos. Oh, shock! Back up. Oh, came in too soon. Frenzy. Almost at the control room. Steal yourself. Cutting the ventilation won't go unnoticed. Wonder why I can't.
shiny. Oh shit! Shut up. Don't say nothing. Damn, was I finally stealthy? <laughs> With three guys, that's funny. Kind of tough. It's two of them. Frenzy. Just get rid of them. Yeah, if I had a room full of those, I could see how that could really cause a problem. Because those dudes were tough. Skill point. Oh, I used my last. Save it. Second health point should help out a lot. Nice. Imagine you'd like to see your daughter before anything else. She'll be in Ava's quarters, I'm sure.
sweet. Outside. Computers on. Old notes from Ava before she created Lambda Mankind. Kaha. There we go. You know I hate it when people mess with my stuff. That's an impressive amount of equipment. It's the bare minimum for leading a handful of activists against a megacorp like Indran. Haven't changed much, have you? Aside from a couple of new lines on your face. Thanks, asshole. You know, I always knew you'd come back. It was just a matter of when. This isn't quite the reunion I had in mind. But it's a happy one. I heard about your handiwork at the mine. Adana. Kahal? Kahal? You must have a lot to talk about. I'll go check on the solar panels. Catch you later. Adana, I... How are you doing? You've grown. It's not worth trying to rebuild that bridge now, Kahal. Not after abandoning me for five years. I'm Adieu. sorry, Adama. Where do you think an apology is going to get you? You know, it was hard enough to get over Mom's death, but dealing with the fact that you chose to leave me behind when I needed you most, that left a scar. You were so focused on doing what you thought was right that you never thought about what it might do to me. Yeah, I mean, she has a point. Maybe you're right. I didn't think about how it might hurt you. I spent those five years finding my way back to the man I was. Even if you were with me, I wouldn't have been me. And you'd have been just as alone. I was in no state to look after you. I couldn't have been the father you needed. I wasn't. Stop, Kahal. I'm really not in the mood to hear you rewrite our family history. Endrin just carved a bloody wound into my cairn. They killed my friends. Right now, all I care about is tearing Endrin apart. Rodko told me you and Ava were undercover at Endrin during the attack. That's right. I managed to infiltrate the fracking site. They just upped my security clearance, too. I've got access to their protected data. This is the best chance we've ever had at taking Endrin down. We sink them from the inside. Sink Endrin from the inside? And how do you plan on doing that? A while back, Ava, Rodko, and I discovered that Endrin's injecting its new recruits with a special serum that makes them more... everything. Yeah, I saw it myself when I was in their training center. The injection transforms people, makes them stink of a worm. There's more to it than that. When I first joined Endrin's ranks, I was trying to figure out what was going on with their biofuel project. But while I was analyzing the formula for the biofuel, I noticed an encrypted molecule within it. No employees have access to its composition. That same molecule is in the substance they're injecting their troops with, as well as another project, the Earthblood Protocol. The Earthblood Protocol. Any idea what that's about? Not yet. But that can wait until after we figure out what this mystery molecule actually is. Once we figure out what that mystery molecule really is, we'll know what they're pumping their soldiers with, and their plans for this biofuel. Then we'll leak that info to everyone who'll listen, block the biofuel's launch, and hopefully put the final nail in Endrin's coffin. The thing is, right now the encryption they're using on their data is impossible to break. That's why we came back. We wanted to tell Rodko how we were stuck and figure out what to do from here. How can I help? If you want to help, go meet with Ava. She and Rodko will be figuring out our next steps. All right, I'll go check in with her and then have a talk with Rodko. Any idea where I'll find her? By our solar panels. If you've got any other questions, you'll find me with the rest of the pack. They need me. And the feels. 
and just met his daughter after five years. My Irish brethren, but that was a lifetime ago. doing big guy figured I'd get out of the way let you catch up with 80 though from the look on your face it doesn't look like it went well she's still angry at me for leaving can you blame her shit being a teenager is bad enough but Luke Miller's death your exile it was all hard on her but you did what you had to you had to get away from us to get yourself back on track that's what I tried to tell her I've been telling her that for years. Never eased her pain, though. But you're back now. It'll pass. Just give it time. Adana told me about your mission to infiltrate the fracking site. Yeah, about that. We're currently at a roadblock. Endron's data encryption is uncrackable. So she said. Our only way to get our hands on that data is to take it directly from the server in their lab. But surveillance is tight. Even Adana couldn't get in there without being caught. And I don't think I could create a big enough distraction to draw their security's eyes away. Hmm. What about your Lambda Mankind? I feel like they'd be distraction enough. That's not happening. If we staged a full-on attack, they'd lock down the whole site, lab servers included. This is a job for a scalpel, not a chainsaw. Gotta keep our operation lean. Sounds like you've got something in mind. If we want to draw security's attention, we have to hit them hard. Blowing up the refinery should do the trick. But that's not happening until we can get into the fracking site. That's step one. The site is protected by an electric fence and a myriad of cameras, all of which are powered by the dam Indrin acquired when it bought the site. Now, if someone could get into the dam and connect me to their network, I could access their system discreetly. Allowing you to cut the power to their defenses without their notice. Exactly. We can worry about the fracking site after that. Okay. I'll go talk to Rotko to see how he wants to make up the teams. Thanks, Gahal. It's good to have you back. But if you don't mind, I'd like to take a few moments for myself. Lost some friends during the attack. Don't worry. Take all the time you need. So, any news on the group that was supposed to be? Let's make our way towards Rodko. Okay, so Rodko's getting better. But there's still a long way to go. But life go back to my Karen. favorite Miller. spot. I hope you can see this. Wherever you are. And that's where I'm going to wrap up this series, or this part. <laughs> that's where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part of Werewolf, uh, part number two. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you back at part three, where we continue this great adventure. And go hit up that fracking site. See you guys next time.